Today, it is all about the $1 Christmas trees at Dollar Tree. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I wanna welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I'm sure we've all seen these in our Dollar Trees. They come in the green and also in white, but I bet you haven't seen some of the projects I'm gonna be sharing with you in today's video. So let's dive into these Dollar Tree Christmas tree hacks right now. Now is a great time to head over into your local Dollar Tree to grab some of these miniature trees as they're already hitting the shelves and tend to sell out quickly. So grab what you need now. This first project, we're gonna need two of those mini trees, but not all of the plastic pieces that come with it. Save them though. I am not sure what I'm gonna use with these yet. So leave me ideas down in the comments below. I hate throwing things like this away because I'm sure they would come in handy for something. My stepdaughter said these kind of look like reindeer ears, but you guys, let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I will feature your ideas over on my Instagram page, but let's dive into this first project. We're going to need, like I said, two of these trees. We're going to make a very simple and quick swag. You're going to put the ends together like I'm showing you here, and I'm using some Dollar Tree wire to attach them together, just twisting them so it stays tight. Go ahead and fluff your swag and those little Christmas trees off to the side. I also added a little bit of hot glue into the center there to really keep these guys nice and tight and secure so we can decorate them. So obviously we have a pretty big gap in the center there we need to cover up and a bow is a great way to do that. I love using ribbon with the wire edges so it holds our loops and makes them nice and fluffy for us. So I do have a video on how to create your own bows and actually four different styles of Christmas bows where I go into much more detail on how to do that. I'll link that up in the iCards. You can check that out next. And a just quick overview is to create loops that are the same size on both sides. That way you get a nice round looking bow in the end, use some string to tie up the center. You can also add on a tail if you like, you can omit the tail if you don't like that look. And once you get your bow put together, you can tie that into the center of your swag. And you can also use a little bit of hot glue too to make sure it stays nice and secure. To dress up this swag, you can add some picks like these red berries that are super inexpensive and easy to just hot glue down into place. I only needed two on each side and it just gave it a nice pop of red with that pretty traditional red and green colors for Christmas time. I love the way this looks on my mantle. It just gives it a really pretty and simple little dash of Christmas right there. But also you could add this onto a mailbox over an entryway or even over a photo grouping on your wall. Get creative wherever you need a little pop of Christmas in your home. Up next is a wood sign that we're going to add a 3D Christmas tree on. This piece is a 10 by 18 size piece of wood that I use some acrylic paint to paint brown. But if you don't have a scrap piece of wood, think outside the box. You can also use even a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree and paint that brown instead. And we are going to basically just attach one of these Christmas trees right onto the front of this wood sign with some hot glue. So you can see the bottom of our tree is pretty bare. And so we're going to create a half crate to cover that up using some popsicle sticks and paint stir sticks and cover that up. So we're gonna start by gauging about how wide you want your crate to be. Just mark a little pencil mark on there and then you can use either a strong pair of scissors, some miter shears, or this is a handsaw and miter box that makes this a really quick and easy way to cut down wood. I will make sure to link a lot of the supplies I'll be using in this video down in the description box so you can check that out after this video too. And that makes it a little easier for you to find some of the things that I'm using to create these projects. 
So you'll need three paint sticks the same length, and then you'll also need to cut down some bigger popsicle sticks to the same size for the sides, and then one more long piece for the bottom. So this is basically what you're gonna end up with, and we need to start building this now, just with some hot glue. First, glue together those three paint stir sticks. That is gonna be the front of our crate. And then we're gonna work on adding those shorter pieces to the sides, and then the longer last piece for the bottom. And you can see here, this is the perfect size to put right at the bottom of our tree so it looks like it's sitting inside of a crate. Again, just using some hot glue to attach that onto the front of the sign. This was just personal preference. The darker green was kind of blending into the darker wood tones a little bit too much for me. So we're coming in with some white paint to touch this up, make it look a little bit snowy and frosty and more like a flocked tree and give it a little bit more contrast against that darker background. Now, of course, you can leave your tree simple and plain if you want, or you can embellish it too, adding a little bow with some ribbon at the top and also some pine cones from Dollar Tree as little ornaments. I think I am going to come back in and add some Spanish moss to the inside of that little crate to kind of cover up the base a little bit more. I didn't have any on hand, but it still looks pretty cute, just plain like this too. You can also turn these mini trees into one big tree. So you're gonna need five of the miniature trees for this project. You're gonna take two and put them together, sort of just wrapping the fur needles around the center to keep the top together and then using some wire at the bottom to keep the bottom together. You're going to do this twice. So you end up with two fluffier trees and then the top tree is just going to be one tree at the top. Now we need to put all of our trees together. You basically just kind of stack them one on top of each other using the wire and branches to help hold it all into place to create that one tall Christmas tree. To make this tree even taller, we're using one of the taller galvanized buckets from Dollar Tree and adding some styrofoam in there. Dollar Tree carries styrofoam you can use too, but I didn't have any on hand. So this is just a cone from the craft store, which kind of fit right into the size of this bucket. I hot glued that down to the bottom and you can see how tall this tree really is going to become. Use some hot glue into your styrofoam and then push down your tree into that styrofoam so it is secured. Then you can go ahead and fluff your tree. Again, I wanted this to kind of go with a grouping of trees that I already had and they were all flocked. So we're gonna give this another coat of white chalk paint so that way it has more of that flocked Christmas tree look. And here's what this little guy is looking like so far. You can see we have some bare spots that we need to cover up. So these are little garden stakes from springtime that are made of wood. I took those apart because the top little wood pieces are gonna work perfect for us to kind of hide those bare spots, creating small miniature wood signs. I have some pre-made vinyl decals already that I'm going to attach onto the fronts of these. If you don't have a vinyl machine or decal, you can also just use a marker or a paint pen and add your own words to the fronts of these signs too. And then you can go ahead and attach these signs right into those bare spots, kind of using the branches to help hold them in place. And it's kind of a optical illusion where you don't really see where we're missing some longer branches. I also embellished the top with a simple little bow, which is made from ribbon from Dollar Tree too. I think this looks so cute with my little Christmas tree grouping and Christmas sign in my she shed. 
I think this would also be so cute if you made three different sizes using the same concept, but making a taller one and a shorter one to make a really cute grouping that's also really affordable. This next one, you can use white Christmas trees for, but at the time, my Dollar Tree did not have any of the white Christmas trees, so you'll be seeing me create this with the regular green Christmas trees. You'll need six of them total to create a snowflake wreath. So what you're gonna do is put two of your Christmas trees together, just like we did the swag in our first project, but you're going to need three of these total. Now go ahead and layer these up in a crisscross style pattern using hot glue and wire to keep them all in place. So you can see our snowflake pattern come to life here. Go ahead and fluff those Christmas trees at this point. I also am going to add some white paint to this as well to make it look more like a snowflake or at least snowy branches. Again, we need to cover up that bare spot in the middle there. So using a simple bow technique to create that and using some jute to attach it into the middle. Again, make sure to check out that bow tutorial down in the description box if you wanna learn how to create your own bows. Then to accent this, these are all accessories you can find at Dollar Tree too. Some pine cones, some berries, some cotton stems, hot gluing those around in sort of a random pattern. This project is still one of my favorites from a couple years ago and still gets watched a lot, but I just wanted to throw this in there in case you had never seen it before and wanted to try it out yourself. This is a very quick and obviously inexpensive project with only six of those Christmas trees. So even with embellishments, you can recreate this for maybe less than $10. Such a great wreath that's nice and full that you could use in your home or on your front door. This project, you only need one Christmas tree, but we're gonna fluff it up and we're also going to make it a little bit more full by adding some of those extra pieces you can buy at Dollar Tree too. They're just basically one single wire branches in a pack. And when you add that to the center of these trees, you actually add some bulk to it and make it look much more full than it is. So this is basically just another style swag and we're gonna add some color to this by adding a bow right onto the top there. Again, I will have that bow tutorial down below. That will also teach you this style of bow as well and go into more detail of how to create it. I hot glued that bow onto the back and tied it on with some string. We also need to add a little bit of embellishment to this swag as well. 
I don't know why I'm sort of obsessed with the flocked look. So we're gonna do that to this swag as well, along with those pine cones. And the bells are from Dollar Tree too, but they come silver and I really wanted it all to kind of coordinate. So I went ahead and painted those bells white as well. Now you can attach these a couple different ways, which is what we're gonna do, or you can just hot glue them all straight on. I really wanted these jingle bells to have the jingle sound, and I thought the best way to do that was to tie them onto some string and then attach them to the swag. So it had a little bit more movement to it. So each one of the bells is getting some string and then I'm going to attach them all together at different heights and tie them onto the top of the swag. And then also hot gluing in some of those pine cones that I frosted with some white paint. And at this point I had realized I wanted my swag to be flocked. So I would highly recommend doing the painting before you add your embellishments to it. But this is kind of a last minute decision. So it's never too late but to save yourself some hassle, painting before you glue stuff on is probably the way to go. It still worked out fine and it looks super cute. Another great thing to add to even a old sled, some outdoor decor onto the front of your door, onto a handle so you can get that jingle bell effect. to put this project in here this is one me and my mom did a few years ago together and I think that's probably why I love it so much but it is also one of the most fun projects too she actually did all of the teaching in this video and I followed along with her it was a lot of fun so I will link this full video down in the description box along with the iCards. Definitely suggest going and watching this full video because then you'll get like all of the details. This is just kind of the shortened version, but you'll also see some of the commentary and also some of the bloopers that I put at the end. This is just a really fun time and also turns out a super cute gnome at the end too. The boots that we're using are from Target, the dollar spot a few years ago. They don't carry them anymore, but check uh, thrift stores for kids boots. You could use a flower pot instead get creative with the boots because I don't think you're gonna be able to find those anymore But there are different alternatives We're also using two Dollar Tree Christmas trees and putting them together to make them more full and then we're gonna attach those into the styrofoam with some hot glue and like I said use something an alternative for the boots I've had lots of people message me where asking where those are from. That's a huge question I get all the time. And there's just, I'm not sure. Sometimes they carry them in the spring with uh, the gardening stuff. So just keep your eye out year round. You may stumble upon some. So here's what it looks like with our Christmas tree in our boots. These are Dollar Tree fleece scarves that we're gonna use for two things. We're gonna make some mittens first for our gnome. We're also gonna make a hat in just a minute. So you're gonna cut a couple inches off the bottom here, uh, double them up, and you're gonna make four little mittens 
all together, but you're gonna glue two of them together. Just running your bead of glue around the outside edge and putting them together. You can sew this too if you would rather sew, but if you're not a sewer like me, then just use your hot glue. Once it's dry, you can flip those inside out. We're gonna use those, like I said, for his little mittens. The scarves, the rest of the scarf, we're gonna turn into his long hat. So you can see here, we're going to fold this over so that we have kind of a long rectangle. We're gonna cut this at an angle. So you're gonna start at one corner and cut it up the side into a point. That way when you open this up, you will end up with two big long triangles. This is the same concept as the mittens. We're going to hot glue up the edges of those triangles and then flip them inside out. At the bottom, you'll just kind of twist and wrap those up to give him a nice brim on his hat and then sit those on the tops of your Christmas trees. We're also going to add a Dollar Tree Jingle Bell onto the end of his hat. Of course, he needs a nose and the smaller sized ornaments at Dollar Tree are the perfect size. So we're hot gluing that up underneath his hat and then hot gluing his mittens onto some branches off to the side. We also added some paint underneath his nose to make it look more like he has a beard. So you can see we made several of these and gave them away as gifts. You can really get personalized with these and change out the hats and also use the white Christmas trees the Dollar Tree carries to really get a fun and unique looking gnome. Next, we're gonna be using this cute Buffalo check style gift bag from Dollar Tree as the base of a Christmas tree. You can also use regular gift bags. You can usually find them for about a dollar even at Walmart. So keep your eye out for some cute ones. I'm stuffing this with some styrofoam from Dollar Tree. And then you'll also need two of the Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. This is a trick on how to make these kind of bare looking trees look a little bit more full. When you double them up, you can just take off the bottom there and you can double these up to make them twice as thick. So you'll have one on one side and then one on the other side and then you just fluff them up and it becomes one big Christmas tree. I would love to hear what theme your Christmas tree will have this year. Leave those down in the comments below for me. I have a winter wonderland themed Christmas tree and I think this year we're gonna do a fun one for our family tree and give it a Grinch theme. And then here's where we are going to fluff these, put the two together and kind of combine them to make the one Christmas tree and kind of twisting the branches around each other too. And then I added some hot glue to the bottom there and stuck that right down into the styrofoam. And then of course you can decorate up your tree however you like. I'm adding some Buffalo check matching ribbon to make a bow for the top and then adding some cascading little bow tails down the sides too, tucking them into the branches. I recently posted a hacks video on how to repurpose wrapping paper. So if you missed that, I'll have that on the screen for you to click along with a bow tutorial that I mentioned a few times throughout this video. If you're looking for easy ways to make your own Christmas bows, definitely check that out. Subscribe if you are new and I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.